Hey guys, so I'm here to talk about my Sephora top high-end palettes. So we're going to get into this. Okay, so I have four high-end palettes. You guys know I use one a lot because you guys have seen it on my channel. But the Dominate Cosmetics Latte Palette, this is a, a great, great fall palette. You have your caramels, you have your pumpkin spice one, you have your mochas. You just This is a great assortment of mattes in here for fall and you do get your pressed pearls three right here i do go in to macchiato quite a bit you can already see the dc is starting to fray on it i do go into this palette quite a bit this is my go-to fall palette for my higher end brands that i love using this retails for 42 dollars on dominique website or you can get it at ulta okay this one I kind of think it's the fall palette just because of the color combination. I don't know if it came out in fall. I think it came out in like spring. But this is actually a really good combination of browns and burgundies. You get your dark burgundy right there. You get your browns. You get like a plum color and you get like your really good assortment of browns and burgundies. And then you get your bronzes and your golds. So I really like, do like that. But you also get your pops of color with the blue. So I really do like that. This is the KKW and Mario palette that came out a couple months ago. I think it was the beginning of spring, I want to say. But this retails for, I think, $44 or $45. I will definitely put down how much it is down below. But this is a great fall palette that I do like using on a regular basis. All right. The next one I got in the beginning of summer, yes, I know, but this is a Fenty Beauty one. This retails for around $52. This is a good assortment of your bronzes and your plums. You do get bronze shades, you do get your brown shades, but you also got your like dark plums and your peachy shades. So it, it can be considered a spring palette, but it also can be considered a fall palette because you do have your dark warm tone shades in this palette as well. Um, this is not a full on shimmer palette this is actually a palette that has shimmers and mattes in it which i really do love you get a good assortment of shades and i just love it i also love the packaging it's so bomb in this amazing sleek beautiful i do love this packaging this is the first big buy from fenty that i did i do have their foundation but this is like the first big eyeshadow palette that i've gotten from fenty and the last one but not least is the urban decay born to run palette this came out in the beginning of summer and everybody, I know it's like a summer palette, but it also does have your bronzes, your browns, and your burgundy colors in here. So you get your dark browns, your purples, your burgundies, but you also get your, you get your warm tones and you get your cool tones. So it is a multi-purpose palette, which I really like. You also have greens for Christmas and stuff, which is amazing. This is a really good palette. This retailed for $49 on the Urban Decay website or at Ulta. I got this at Ulta. I love playing with the shades. They are very pretty. I love going into Blaze. Blaze is one of my favorite colors to go into. And so is this one right here called Double Life. They are pigmented, they are pretty, and they are just amazing. So you have Double Life, which is a good bronze shade. You have Blaze, which is a kind of champagne shade. You got your Guild Trip, which is a purple. I think this is an amazing shade range that they have. It's very pretty, very vibrant, and it doesn't need a whole lot of thick spray. Some of them you might need, but not all of them. But it just depends on if you're going to use your finger, if you're going to use your brush, or it depends on what type of shimmer you're going to use. Um, so I need to use the, the dark purples and the greens in winter and Christmas because those are going to be shades that are going to be probable, really popping in the month of December. So those are my four high-end fall palettes that I've gotten in the last year. Um, they all came out at different times, but to me, the coloring, the shade range, they just seem like they're fall palettes to me. I use them, I use a lot of these palettes a lot um, in the months of fall. So that is it. Those are my four high-end palettes. I hope you guys like this. I hope this is like helping you guys figure out what palettes you might want to go buy and what palettes you might want to like not buy let me know what your favorite fall palette is at the bottom because i always like hearing about what palettes you guys use on a regular basis so as always please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos and if you don't like me i really don't care this is what i do about makeup so i'll see you guys on the next one bye